Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ. I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls, and this is an adult channel meant for adult doll and toy collectors. So I pre-ordered the Monster High Skull Ultimate Secrets Fearidescent Claudine Wolf on Amazon when she popped up to be able to pre-order her. And Amazon told me that my package was not going to arrive until July. And I was like, that's fine. It's okay. If I find her in stores before then, I'll just cancel the order. While I was on vacation is when they're like, hey, we've shipped your doll. She'll arrive tomorrow. I was like, great. I'm on vacation. <laughs> cool. Thankfully, G was home so he could retrieve the package when they delivered on the porch. But yeah, now these guys are pretty much readily available right now at Target. I have not seen them at Walmart. I don't know if they're coming to Walmart, but they are available right now on Target online, Target in stores, and on Amazon. And they are $29.99 each, which is the same price that they were when Wave 1 was released. But let's get into it. As far as the packaging goes, you are still getting the doll in the coffin locker, which I love. However, I feel like I'm going to run out of space for these things soon. And I want to display them so badly with the doll, but, you know, we've got Wave 3 already in talks and everything, so I, I don't know how I'm going to display them all. I'll find a way, though. So there is still that watercolor feature where you dip the key in the water and it changes color so you know what door to open. I'm not going to do that. You can only you, you can use one key and it'll open all the doors so you don't really have to do that but it is something fun for kids to do because remember these are geared towards kids not us adult collectors. It's fine. There's 125 plus looks. 19 plus surprises contains 18 parts and the back of the box features all the other dolls in the line and if you are interested there is her barcode but let's go ahead and get Claudine out of that coffin locker the one thing that does suck with these, it is basically like blind box packaging. So you don't know what the doll is going to look like. So is there is a potential for the doll to kind of either be misprinted or, you know, stuff like that. I really wish they, you know, Mattel could find a way to incorporate like a little window here or something that pertains to each one of the dolls, like a little symbol or something. So you could kind of see the doll, but whatever. So let's open this locker and just hope that Claudine looks decent. She doesn't have to look perfect. I'm okay with a little bit of misprint here or there, but if one eye is bigger than the other, I'm, I'm not going to really be okay with that. But it's okay. It's fine. If I could open it. I think she looks good. I think she looks good. All right, we got a good one. Just like in wave one, there is some little uh, design, pictures, printing, whatever you want to call it, on the locker door. So on Claudine's, we have this adorable little banner up here that is gold with moon and stars. Her mirror, love this mirror. It's got a crescent moon on it with stars and it says, stay positive. We got her glasses right here. Um, so her Skultimate Secrets Wave 1, the Fearidescent Skultimate Secrets, and I think her Monster Ball doll did not come with her glasses. When did, when did we change that? What, what happened there? Anyways, makeup, scrunchy, her cell phone, um... Looks like she's listening to some music. It's like a wolf howling. So, okay, maybe she's listening to a uh, wolf's howl at the moon. And down here, we have all of her, like, products and everything. Her brush. Um, is that a shower cap? Cute. 
And then down here we have her moon necklace, a purse, her furry stole, belt, and some earrings. Let's go ahead and get her out so we can take a closer look at her. Okay, Claudine is out, and the more I was looking at her, I realized that her, like, lips or whatever, they're a little crooked, but I'm okay with that because it looks like she's got, like, a little smirk going on, so that's all right with me. So she does have painted on baby hairs, and they are in purple. She still has the tufts of fur right here on her sides. Her upper eyelid does have like little glitter on it and then it fades out like to purple and everything and her lower lid is lined in a darker purple. Still has her adorable little painted nose with freckles and her lips are like this purple color with glitter on them and she does still have her fangs. It's just a little bit difficult to see them with the way they like put on the glitter. As for her hair, I love that it is purple. I love the color purple that they chose. There's like this beautiful pastel purple with darker purple up at the top. But this is basically what it looks like out of the box. I will say it's not as bad as her core series doll. Like the first one that was released with the brown hair and everything is not as much as like a matted tangled mess. It is still a mess, but it's not as bad as her like first release doll. Um, like I said, they all have like that poly, poly por porpoline hair. I don't know if I said that correctly. I usually just say poly. So you will have to kind of fix it if you are someone who knows how to fix poly hair. Yeah, and so it's, it's not bad, but it's bad. For her first outfit, she is wearing this black shirt with the like see-through type of see, uh, sleeves. They're in like this pastel purple color. This portion of the shirt is black and it has like pinkish purple constellations all over it. I am really loving that they are giving Claudine in this series like a moon constellation type theme. Like I feel like they're really playing into like, she, you guys, she's a werewolf. She loves moons. She loves stars. She loves constellations because she's a werewolf. I like it, but we can calm down a little bit, Mattel. Her shorts that she is wearing, they are like the same material that Frankie's were. It's like that hard type of pleathery, I don't, plasticky type material, but they're in a fear, a descent purple. So when you turn it in the light, it does change colors. It's actually really pretty. And the shirt and shorts are held together in the back by Velcro. Her shoes, she's got these adorable like furry boots going on. So they are molded to look like fur all up here. And they do have a slit in the back for you to easily put them on and off. I love these boots. Would I ever wear boots like this? No. But they fade from a light purple down into a dark purple. What's on the bottom? Oh, a crescent moon is on the bottom of her shoes. In this main compartment right here where Claudine was, you get a set of instructions to tell you how to do the water, water color changing technology. You also get your first key. Now, like I mentioned, you can use this key to just open all of these doors. If you do not want to do the water color changing feature technology, whatever you want to call it. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to open all the locker doors. And let's go ahead and see what is in our first package. Just like Frankie's, Claudine's is in that oil slick iridescent type of color packaging that's going on. Let's see what we have in the first one. So in the first package, I love this shirt. I know I was just saying that 
as much as I love the whole moon and wolf and astrological thing going on with Claudine and Mattel needs to calm it down, I'm in love with this shirt. Held together in the back by Velcro, but it has a wolf on it with like lightning and everything. This reminds me of like straight out of the 90s, but I love it. Love it. Next we have this purple leopard print type skirt. It has frayed um, edges down at the bottom with this like gold ribbon going down. It is held in the back by Velcro. And then we have her stole. This one is a pastel purple color with darker crescent moons and uh, circles, which could be like full moon on there. And this side again with the animal print. But this is reminding me of uh, G1 Claudine, her shirt. I think it was like pink with like this kind of print on it. So I kind of like that because it's almost like a callback to her G1 doll. And just like Frankie's, this is super soft. In the second package, I believe this is like the key ring and everything, like her accessories. Oh, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. So it's another key. And it is her accessories, like her earrings and everything. So she has these purple hoop earrings. They're just like little hoops. She has her headband, which is purple with two gold crescent moons on it. And she has a choker that says, how? And the third package, we have, wow, I can't open this. Third package, we have the key ring, which is silver this time, whereas in wave one, it was black. Her second pair of shoes, ooh, I like these. They're like wedge or platform sandals and the bottom print is like that cheetah print. The bottom is that cheetah print and she's got a little uh, ankle strap and the portion right here is like a, it looks white but I think when they painted over the uh, translucent type of purple it kind of came out almost looking like a pastel purple but it has like moons on it. And we get our last key, which you can, it's already color changed because it's your last key, so you know to open the last door. And her final package typically has like all of the food pieces in it and like makeup, you know, little accessories like that. So in this one, we have this purse. Um, I'm really liking this purse. So the top handle right here is like a paw and then we have a gold wolf and then little constellations on the side and the back. We, oh, is that a constellation of a wolf howling at the moon? I love that. And then I think this is either the big or little dipper. And then we have, okay, so that's the Big Dipper, and that's the Little Dipper. Mm -hmm. And it does open. It does open. I swear it opens. There. It does open. We also get her little um, makeup compact, and it's a crescent moon again with, I really don't know what else is on there besides the crescent moon. But you have the little uh, thing right here for her to hold it. I I don't know if this opens. Oh, it does. Okay, and there's like little makeup in there. I don't know what this is. 
um, a toothbrush. I'm not, I'm not positive. Is it a toothbrush? Or is it like a razor? Like one of those like little facial razors? Is that what this is? Which would be hilarious because the, um, bedroom set Claudine back in the day came with a razor and parents lost their shit over it. I'm not sure what this is, but I know they have like those micro blade razors where you can get like fine hair off your face or whatever or do your eyebrows. I almost feel like this is what this is, but I could be wrong, but that's what this is making me think. Of. And just like Frankie it came with like a little like ice cream popsicle. Claudine does too. And hers is just as adorable. So you have like the little waffle cone per, uh, portion down here and then two scoops of ice cream but the top portion looks like a cat or a wolf whatever you want it to be and it does have the peg in the back to hold it but oh my god this is adorable. I loved Frankie's and I love Claudine's. Oh so cute. Okay I got Claudine's earrings in. I got her little headband on her how necklace. I put her in her second outfit shirt but left her shorts and boots on her. She's got her ice cream in her little purse and her stole and she is ready to just you know go out have some fun. Overall like I've said in all of my other Skultimate Secret videos I think this series is completely worth the $29.99, $30 after tax price because you were getting a locker to put the accessories and the doll in. You're getting a fully articulated doll. She is articulated the neck, shoulders, elbows, wrists, chest, knees, and hip. So she has all the articulation that her original like G3 release had. And you're getting outfit pieces and accessories. Completely worth the price. And I love this whole Firidescent line that they did because they did some pastel colors and they all just work so well together. I love it. But let me know down below what you guys think of the Skultimate Secrets Firidescent line. What do you guys think of Claudine? And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.